because I left when I was 14. Right. Did you go to work when you left? Yes. What did you do? Well, I went working to work uh, into what was John Pickelsonson's at Mytham Works. Uh, they made uh, sawmill and woodworking machinery. And what was your job? I was a draftsman. I went to work in the drawing office actually and I uh, was there from uh, 14 till uh, I was there 11 years. Did you like that kind of work? Yes, mm, I did. It was hard work because in those days we, uh, we worked longer hours than people work now. We worked a five and a half day week. We worked Saturday mornings in those days and when I went to work there well, when I went for a job interview, I was told what I would have to do. I would have to uh, go to night school mm -hmm. during the winter, which I did, three nights a week, and homework mm -hmm. from the subject. And I did that for, um, oh, seven years. Was that like an apprenticeship? Yes, it, it, was, in, it was in the, in the deal. Right. If you want the job, that's what you'll have to do. And that's what the pay will be. They gave me the uh, the list of what my wages will be over the next seven years. Oh, how much did you get paid? I got 12 shillings a week. <coughs> I started at 12 shillings a week. Right. And how much is that in pence? New <laughs> pence. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much, is it? It's oh. about 60. Well, about 60 pence. Yeah. But, mm. So that was your starting wage? Yeah. And each year, how much did it go up each year? Oh, I think after the first year or two, it probably went up about two shillings. Right. And then as I got near to 21, and I suppose you might say as you got more experienced, the increments were a little bit larger. Right. I know when I was uh, when I was 21, and I finished um, 70, uh, my seven years apprenticeship, my wage then went to three pounds, 10 shillings a week which is less than the minimum wage now is for an hour. <laughs> that's true. A lot less. Yes, that's very true. But we're told what it will be, and if you, if you want the job, that's it. And I accept it. Well, was it, was it a, a living wage then? Uh, well, I managed to save money. Yeah. Mm. Um, a lot of property that people had just abandoned, um, whereas now everybody does everything up, and it's lovely old property that's been done up. But yeah. in those days, it was just left there, yeah. do, you know, empty, rotting, doing nothing. I uh, can remember the time when you could buy a house, yeah. a cottage, yeah. for fifty pounds. Fifty pounds, uh, Hepton Stall, and, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I know pounds. somebody who bought a house in Hepton Stall when they got married. I'll tell you, it was later. Um, for fifty pounds, they lived there about ten years and sold it for five thousand, um, and then. Now the same house is going for six figures. Really? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Which well, when, is? When was that? When did they buy it for fifty pounds? Then how long ago? Oh, this would be about in the seventies, sometime. Mm. Right. Seven, early seventies. When the first got married. Mm. Yeah. A few years ago, you had a job to sell them, hadn't you? Yeah. Uh, you know that you, yeah. you you're giving them away. I say fifty pounds. What a lot of money. The prices of housing now, uh, well, you you will know. Uh, Hebden Bridge is way mm. above mm. Mm. all the surrounding area. Mm. People think it's a desirable place to live. It's a nice little yeah. town. I'm not not decrying that. Yeah. Nice little town, but uh, I mean, when you've lived here as as we we have all our lives, you get a bit blase about it. Yeah. You know, I think, but you oh. see, Wilfred regrets all the loss of the industry. Yeah. Mm. Well, in a way, I suppose I do, but it is so much cleaner now, so much more enjoyable mm. to me. Yeah. Um, I can remember as a child when everything was so dirty with all the mill chimneys. Mm. You had a lovely summer day, you would open the window and the windowsill would just be covered with blobs of soot. Well, the rain used to bring it down, didn't yeah, so it? Yes, if, if, if you had your washing hanging out and then it started to rain, you had to bring it in and wash it all again because the, the rain made the soot stick to the clothing. They always used to say that Sorby Bridge was one of the dirtiest places around. And used to send it up here. It, 
Uh, and they say that that all came from all of them. I don't know. <laughs> it came from 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 the Lancashire lad and dropped on on Solby Bridge. Now how true that is, I don't know. But that uh, yeah. that was uh, one of the stories that went about <laughs> in those days. <Yeah. laughs>